Back in the day, there was a term, a derogatory term that some used to describe certain type of women. The term is purse holder. Well, what a purse holder used to be, it was the least attractive chick in, in the group of girlfriends. The purse holder usually was the moral compass of the group. The purse holder usually drove everywhere. But more especially, that when they went out to party, the purse holder was the one to sit there and watch the purses and the drinks while the other girls go and mingle and have a good time with guys. Now, the purse holder wasn't always uh, the least attractive of the group. She might have been very beautiful, but she was the one with the lowest self-esteem. And she tap danced for the females in that group because that group gave her purpose. Everything she does, it was all done for the approval of the group. You could never pay her to say anything derogatory toward the group. She was an advocate for the group all the freaking time. But what became weird is when she would be so aggressively uh, defensive when it came to the group, when the group wasn't around. And, every, and it would always spark a thought in everybody's head is you're going hard for these bitches, but these bitches are never go that hard for you. That was the purse holder. Well, I submit to you, my good sirs and ma'am, that here in 2021, we have a brand new group of purse holders. And these are men. That's right. You heard it right. The purse holders today are dudes. And you might say, he's talking about gay men. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm absolutely not talking about gay men. Gay men would never be a purse holder in the group of friends. A gay man in a group of women is usually the alpha or the vice alpha. His self-esteem is up here. He would never allow himself to be the purse holder of the group. I'm talking about straight men. There, You got a group of straight men out here, simpletons as I call them. They are the new purse holders. All they do is simp for women. It's like they're performing for treats and want for pats on the head. And it's like, dudes, we automatically see what that is. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because the whole little scandal with your man, Derek Jackson. No dude is surprised about Derek Jackson cheating because we know that type of dude. He the, All that is is tending to his feels. When he sit up here and he say all these things that women like, he's playing off women's emotions so that he can get next to them. That's, it's the oldest trick in the book. That's a whole industry. The three most profitable fields online are finance, fitness, and relationships. That's where your money at. You play off the emotions of females and you will get paid for it. That's Where it gets gross at is that we have so many men out here doing it now. And see, back in the day, men would do it too, but you would call them on it. A lot of times that dude would be, he would be kicked out of the male circle of trust and he wouldn't be allowed to come back at all. And the motherfucker that brought him, he would be told, bring that motherfucker back over here again. Your ass ain't welcome no more. There's a need for us to protect our females. We should, we should absolutely cater to our women. We should absolutely protect our sisters. I am not making excuses for oppressive, possessive, and predatory men, but a lot of people want to lump all men who speak in a certain way, who are abrasive, who are stoic into that freaking group. That is bullshit. And the purse holders reinforce that shit. He tells females, yeah, 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 they, they bad. He shouldn't do that. He shouldn't talk like that. He shouldn't say that. Fuck him. If you think I'm freaking lying, take your ass on Clubhouse. Take your ass on Clubhouse, the app Clubhouse. It is gross sometimes. It is literally gross. And I know it's going to ruffle some feathers, but this whole video is ruffling some feathers. You'll be fine. Whatever. But on Clubhouse, you go into some of these groups and the most rudest, most toxic, most interrupting, narcissistic people in some of these groups are females. And as soon as a dude match her energy, here come this simpleton. Hey, wait. Now we must let our sisters talk. We can't interrupt our square queens. We must give our queens the respect they deserve. Motherfucker, that bitch been the rudest, loudest motherfucker in the group the whole goddamn time. Shut your ass up. You out here sipping. Try to sniff up on some pussy. That's what you're trying to do. And I'm not saying there's not some guys out there who are genuine. This is what they're passionate about. But you can look at a dude. A lot of times they go with his age. If he under a certain age and look a certain way and he doing that shit, he out here tending to his crops. That's what he doing. Or as the old dude say, he out here trying to feed the chickens. And, and, and I know I sound like a broken record, but I cannot stress this enough because I'm, I'm undoubtedly going to get somebody to come in here talking crazy. Look, I said it before and I will say it again oppressive men, possessive men, and predatory men should not be tolerated. That behavior and that point of view should not be tolerated in 2021. We absolutely have to protect our girls and protect our, protect our women from that type of dude. But you, you don't get the lump 
anybody who say something you don't want, that you don't like into that group, see? and then you get these sympathons, these purse holders come and reinforce that fucking point of view. Fuck that. A lot of us dudes out here, especially dudes of a certain age, we're going to say what the fuck we want to say when we want to say it. And it's just far where they may. We firm, but we fair. We out here being possessive, and we out here being predatory, and we out here being oppressive. It is what it is. Purse holders. A whole new branch of men.